few have explored southeastern Baffin Island before for vertebrate fossils. The geologic maps don't show any good potential locations, but until we do some exploring in the area, there's always a chance of an interesting find. I have this opportunity in the Arctic, and you never know what you will find. There are two spots along this trip that I think we'll be able to do some prospecting. The first one is Sunshine Fjord. The beauty of exploration in the Arctic is, is it's so unique and it's so difficult to find something. If I went to Alberta and I went to Badlands in Alberta, give me a few hours and I'll find something. Here it could be days and days and days and, and you might not find anything. You may have gone to the wrong exposure, the wrong island, bad luck. Um, and you will come home empty-handed. There's a lot of glacial till here, and um, there's a potential we might find something, but uh, at this point, uh, nothing yet. So I didn't find much here. Our next stop is Coronation Fjord. Once again, we're trying to find anything, any deposit that is promising for uh, fossils, anything fossiliferous. That's the adventure of the hunt, just looking around, hoping to, uh, to find something. It's worth a gamble just because of, of where it is. I mean, it's our Canadian Arctic. It's, um, it's unique, and to think we have had, we've had dinosaurs here, and we've had incredible huge mammals, large trees. We've had tropical weather here. It's a, uh, a pretty exciting place to come, to look, and to look back at what this area must have looked like. This wasn't a very successful trip in terms of finding any fossils, but sometimes just going out searching and not finding anything also gives us some useful information. The rocks in this region were not sedimentary and they were very old. Not a good place to find fossils. The Arctic, though, is incredibly rich with paleontological history. I'm looking forward to coming back and seeing if I can have better luck next time.